Hello everyone, I'm really excited to give you this tutorial of motion tracking in After Effects. It's really cool, I just learning After Effects and this is one of the things that I really like because it's also very handy. I have a clip, I shot it on Sunday, uh, we were on the water kayaking and um, I filmed with the camera in my hand so it's a bit shaky as you can see. So that's the clip that I wanted to do some motion tracking and there's two kinds of motion tracking there's uh, tracking and then put something on the on the place uh, where you track something or you stabilize it um, I'm gonna show you the stabilizing of the video of course um, and what do, uh, I will start off by uh, just dragging the video and make a new composition you have to drag it into this the new composition icon and there it is um, I can start now um, so uh, I double click on the uh, timeline the thing here and then you get two tabs over here and we're going to work in this area for the motion tracking and this will be the re result later on so uh, uh, here you have the uh, track motion uh, and the stabilized motion. We will do the stabilized motion, of course. So I'll click on that, and you see here this track points popping up. Uh, we will be using that. Um, and how it works is that you see two uh, two squares. The inner square um, is going to be uh, uh, used to specify where to look for, and the the other is where it can go to. So what you have to do is find a place in your uh, video with a uh, yeah, different in contrast and or something like here. And because I'm also rotating the camera a bit, um, I have to click on the rotation and then a second track point pops up. And what I will do is find another spot. So on this tree here, over there, so I'm ready to to start. Um, what you can do here is uh, click on Analyze Forward. That means that it will start analyzing from the beginning uh, of your current time indicator, which is here. Um, so I will do that, and it will d detect, as you can see. So you see it's detecting. And it's finished so you can actually also zoom in on this and this is the tracking you can also correct it um, which is uh, also very very cool so um, now we have the uh, tracking information we can apply it to the uh, footage which we will do to the well the X and the I. So it's now applied. Let's see the result. And I think this is really cool. Um, you see also you, you see it's moving on the edges. You can um, you can uh, scale your your video to remove that. Um, you can do it over here. So make it a little bit smaller so you can see it again and what you can do is uh, if you go to the uh, the transform over here you have to scale and then you scale it a bit up like this and then you see there's less of the black edges uh, well you can make it as big as you want I don't mind to have uh, a bit of the black edges in it because if you do, if you if you scale the movie too much up then uh, your resolution will be too low of course so therefore it will be also cool if you have really good f footage like HD video footage um, well if you export it <coughs> you have the result which is uh, something like this um, yeah So I think it's really cool, and I will actually uh, use this 
in a uh, video that I'm making of the of the kayak trip. But that's something for later. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. And um, I think I will do some more after effects things. So maybe more tutorials later on. Okay, bye.